The R-Series promotes ease of use with the uniform operating system. All critical functions begin with this one main dial and are color-coded for ease of use. The gray zone is for monitoring your patient. The red zone is for defibrillation. The green zone is for pacing. The family of one-step resuscitation electrodes are designed to work with the R-Series. There are electrodes for every need, including specific electrodes for pediatric patients. The advanced features of one-step resuscitation electrodes include automated self-tests, code-ready connectors, and electrode expiration alerts. The R-Series can also work with Zoll specialty electrodes, internal handles with spoons, and external paddles. One-step electrodes should remain connected to your defibrillator at all times. To connect the electrodes to the one-step cable, slide the end of the cable into the electrode connector. The two largest pieces will connect. They should fit together easily and create a tight connection. To open the one-step electrodes, grasp the electrode packaging at the yellow triangle and firmly pull open, separating the two sides. Notice the one-step cable is attached to the electrodes. Pull the cable up from the package to separate it. To apply the one-step electrodes, place the back electrode first to prevent buckling of the front electrode. Grasp the rectangular red electrode labeled 1 and peel it from the plastic liner by lifting at the red tab at the base of the electrode. You may notice the self-test connector wire attached to the electrode packaging. This connector is used to verify the integrity of the electrodes and confirm their clinical readiness during the code readiness test. The self-test connector only works when the electrode packaging is unopened and attached to the R-Series. Roll the patient onto their side and then roll the electrode onto the patient's back to the left of their spine and under the scapula. To apply the front electrode, grasp the triangular blue electrode labeled 2 and peel it from the liner by lifting at the red tab at the base of the electrode. The one-step complete and one-step CPR electrodes include a CPR compression sensor. Place the sensor on the patient's chest so the vertical red line is mid-sternum and the horizontal red line is between the patient's nipples. Roll the electrode onto the patient's left chest with the blue triangle midway between the sternum and nipple. For female patients, lift up the breast if necessary in order to position the electrode underneath. Before using, verify that the R-Series defibrillator is ready for use by noting the green check mark on the front panel. If a red X is present, one person should attempt to deliver therapy, while another runs to get a defibrillator with a green check mark. Defibrillation with hands-free electrodes is a simple 1-2-3 operation. Step 1. Turn the mode selector to defib. The default defibrillation energy protocol for the Zoll R series with the rectilinear biphasic waveform is 120, 150, 200 joules for adult patients. ALS providers can change the energy setting manually by pressing the Energy Select button up or down. The default defibrillation energy protocol for pediatric patients is 50, 70, 85 joules. Step 2. BLS providers press Analyze and follow screen and voice prompts. Stand clear. ALS providers press Charge. Before shocking the patient, ensure the environment is safe for defibrillation. Remove high concentrations of oxygen from the patient. Confirm that no one is touching the patient. Look to make sure all persons are clear of the patient, the bed, and any equipment connected to the patient. Loudly warn all persons to stand clear. clear. Step 3. Press the illuminated shock button. For adult patients, the one-step complete and one-step CPR electrodes include a CPR sensor. 
The CPR sensor monitors the rate and depth of chest compressions and sends this information to the R-Series. You should always use a backboard or mattress in CPR mode when administering CPR. Using Zoll's Real CPR Help technology, the following items are displayed on the CPR dashboard. For adults, this includes Compression Depth Indicator Compression Rate Indicator Release Bar Perfusion Performance Indicator PPI Audio and Messaging Prompts CPR Timer and an idle timer. The R-Series compression depth measurement can also be displayed in centimeters. The CPR dashboard on the R-Series defibrillator provides you with a digital reading of each and every chest compression. If your compression depth or rate falls outside of the recommended guidelines, the background of the numerical value for rate and or depth will be flagged yellow on the CPR dashboard. The R-Series defibrillator will also provide an audible message Push harder. and a metronome will beep to help you reach 105 compressions per minute. This real-time feedback can help you ensure you are doing high-quality chest compressions. A CPR timer is displayed once CPR compressions begin and will count down from two minutes to help ensure high-quality compressions by a rested staff member. The release bar measures release velocity to determine that rescuers are allowing sufficient time for cardiac filling. The bar should be completely full of color. If the color begins to decrease, quickly lift hands off the chest for better recoil. The Perfusion Performance Indicator PPI, integrates compression depth, rate, and interruption times into one visual indicator. Keeping the diamond-shaped PPI full provides visual indication of performance to the current guidelines. When compressions have been interrupted for an extended period of time, idle time is displayed in minutes and seconds. This is a visual reminder to help minimize pause time. The see-through CPR feature of the R-Series filters compression artifact from the ECG waveform. This results in a filtered ECG waveform labeled as FIL. This allows you to view underlying rhythms without the need to interrupt compressions. However, it is not intended to replace assessment, and it does not work in the pacing mode. CPR compressions should be paused when assessing ECG for a shock or no shock decision. For pediatric patients less than 8 years of age and less than 55 pounds or 25 kilograms, one-step pediatric CPR electrodes can be used to maximize the R-Series pediatric capabilities. When connected, the R-Series defibrillator will automatically lower the energy level to 50 joules, adjust its AED analysis algorithm to pediatric parameters, display compression rate and depth on the CPR dashboard, and filter compression artifact from the ECG waveform. Pediatric CPR electrodes do not enable real CPR voice prompts or any visual indication of ineffective CPR. However, the metronome will beep if compressions fall below guidelines. To monitor your patient, turn the mode selector to Monitor. The keys in the gray area affect everything you see on the display. Press Lead to cycle through different leads. Size to change the size of the ECG waveform. The R-Series includes options for advanced monitoring of pulse oximetry, non-invasive blood pressure, and end tidal CO2. Should you have any additional questions, please refer to your R-Series Operator's Guide or visit www.zoll.com for more information.